Jack Frost's breath couldn't be any colder. There's ice on it. There's ice cream in it. Some of the hottest sellers in ice cream are made right here in Pinellas Park. In particular, Klondike, uh, a lot of Klondike bars, uh, Klondike Big Bear sandwiches, and some popsicle items. 21 hours each day, ice cream is pushed through an extruder, sliced to an exact width, and then, where are these sandwiches going? They're going into a hardening tunnel. Uh, they're gonna be in for about eight minutes at minus 120 degrees. Every chocolate squirt is a reminder of the cruel irony of ice cream season colliding head on with swimsuit season. They're making 270 bars a minute. I could eat that many in five. An automated operation such as this relies heavily on the folks who can fix problems quickly. Jeb, how long does it take you to, to get used to looking at another man in a hairnet? <laughs> About five seconds. Because everybody looks the same around here. The dog days of summer are the height of ice cream consumption. There's two girls packing about 150 sandwiches a minute. Is that hard? For some people it would be. The belt moving Big Bear sandwiches moves faster than you can say Lucy and Ethel, redefining the term ice cream headache. Do you ever get sick of looking at ice cream? No. Do you ever get sick of eating ice cream? No. The Klondike bars made here will be stocked in freezer cases around the nation, but not before they freeze their ice off in Florida. It's 20 below zero. You'd have to be a polar bear to work in here. <laughs> what? Or a real company guy who's willing to suit up for a Klondike bar. It's 20 below in there. What's the temperature in there? Right now about 75 or 80. <laughs> about 80. It still has that new bear head smell though, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Next time you eat one, know that it was likely freshly frozen in one of the warmest spots in the country. For Fox 13, this is kind of personal, you know. I'm Nancy Alexander.